Guys, ever since I uploaded this video, I've been seeing some of these pop up on the server, but nowadays, whenever I see one, I just laugh my bollocks off. During the population crash on the server and economic status of tropical fish spawners surpassing 800k due to low player count, I realise it's time to get an updated version on this farm. Before we get into the tutorial, let's look at the materials. So you need glass, block of your choice, fence gates or signs, two buckets of water, an X amount of hoppers and chests, ice, dirt, magma blocks, and sea lanterns. That's all you need. And of course you need your spawners, but I don't have it in this creative world. Step 1. Mark out a 16 by 16 area for your farm. Step 2. What you want to do is grab your block of choice, build three blocks up, and keep going around that marker that you did. Also, what you want to do is come in with your magma, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, place it like that. Then this is packed ice guys, packed ice, right here, packed ice. So put packed ice in the middle here. Do another six blocks of magma blocks, and um, you can either place signs or fence gates. But fence gate seems way easier. So place it along the glass. Have a little drop area down here. So you gotta have you have to have signs or fence gates on this level of the water. Down here, what you want is. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Packed ice down here with a fence gate on top or sign. And then place your other bucket of water and let it flow down here. Break a hole over here. Place your hopper and you can just do whatever you want in this area. This will be your storage. Now that was a big step too. And it should look like this. Step three. <laughs> Good luck. What you want to do is fill this top part with either your fence or um, signs. It should look like that. Once you're done with that, you want to build up seven blocks from each corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You want to do that on all corners and then join them all up, like so. Once you've done that, what you want to do is fill in the insides of the frame with glass. So once you've done the outside, um, you want to just come to the top. And before you do the top, what you want to do is come down three blocks and place dirt. Cover this whole layer with dirt, like across. And once you've done that, you want to cover it with regular ice, okay? On top. Once you've done that, I'll just show you real quick. Slash game mode. What makes this really easy um, is you don't need to keep putting buckets of water to fill in the stuff. All you just gotta do is get a pickaxe with efficiency 5. Insta break all the ice. Grab out your efficiency 5 shovel. Insta break all the dirt. And what this does is that the water falls down, so then you don't have to keep adding each individual source block with the water bucket. So once you've cleared all that out, you can then fill the top with glass. But leave one corner, so you can come in and out to place your spawners. Once you've finished with the roof, you want to just come down here. 
and then what you want to do is place sea lanterns um, two blocks from the edges and two blocks apart from each other, like so. Bam, and this is where you would be placing your tropical fish spawners. So let's just pretend that these oak leaves are spawners. You'd place one, two, three, four, five, like so, on each one of these um, pillars. Now, it is going to leave behind um, air pockets if you do take out your spawners, but you can always replace it with a bucket of water later but yeah that is the farm guys that is the farm I hope this video helped some of you guys because I know you have been um, struggling to sell your tropical fish spawners and you would be having more than two as I said in the this video um, so yeah this farm can hold up to 120 spawners so yeah <laughs> if you want more tutorials um, like and subscribe and comment down below what tutorial I should do next. Um, iron farm tutorial coming up next, uh, I promise. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.